Hello everyone, this is the third reading channel. I mainly focus on doing readings on K-pop idols, but if you want to me to, I will definitely do readings on other celebrities as well. Today I'm gonna be doing a reading on Jungkook, um, his career life and love life in the past, present, future. So um, let's start. Wow, <clears throat> we got the moon. <laughs> interesting okay so first of all I'm gonna start with saying that um, for a really long time Jungkook um, has been feeling kind of dissatisfied in areas of his work um, it's like um, first of all in 2019 he kind of felt as if there was just a lot of things that which is um he's not aware of because like the moon is about you know secrets things that you're not aware of um so yeah and in 2020 he really felt stuck but ultimately he was able to like get out of this like situation which he was in and i feel like he kind of started feeling better in 2021 he kind of felt like he can kind of stand on himself like he kind of uh, realized that he can be independent and in this like in 2022 we got the tower so um could you explain the tower to me what's the tower So I think in 2022, kind of something unexpected has happened. Um, let me put this here. Because I feel like something happened between him and this Queen of Cups. There must might be like some kind of collaboration that happened that was kind of unexpected. Uh, but whatever that it is, we don't know about it yet. So um, let me ask about 2023. I feel like 2022 was a year for him, which like in a, a lot of um, unexpected things happened. And yeah. <laughs> so let me, yeah, 2023. <laughs> Do you see the like light the color of the cards changing and getting better 
in 2023 i feel like it's going to be probably one of the greatest years of his life because like of the nine of cups that is like it's like doing your dream like job this is what the energy i'm getting so we're gonna get more into it Okay, we got the Ace of Cups. We got the Queen of Swords. the five mm -hmm. Is there any other? Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna say there's this Queen of Cups, which um, he he might kind of have some some. Uh, First of all, I think that this Queen of Swords um, is someone from BTS because we got the Five of Wands here. So he might actually do some kind of collaboration with one of the BTS members. This person is probably an air sign. Uh, and, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's something that makes him happy, but sometimes they might but heads because they have um, different opinions on different things so but it's something that um it's probably a song but it's they have to put a lot of hard work on it now let me ask more We got the judgment. Mm -hmm. We got the page of pentacles. So first of all, I'm gonna say the next year you you can expect many things from him. Uh, he's gonna come with new songs, and I also have, I get this notion that he uh, probably might start doing something new. Like it might be acting or something else, but yeah, he's gonna something do something new. Uh, with the uh, with someone who is a fire sign, we got the king of wands. Could you explain more about this, like?
We got the It's like finally he will get to do what he really wants. Um, Let me pull this back. Oh, interesting. Um, like I said, I think that he will finally be able to like do something that uh, he wanted to do for a really long time, uh, and. We got also the lovers, so it's lovers sometimes comes out for this kind of contracts, and the moon is about like something being a secret, right? Um, thus, I just think that you will probably know about it. Um, at the end of the year or maybe sooner but i feel like it's something that's uh you're not gonna be aware of it because like he's doing this really um secretly this is what i'm trying to say okay let me just pull out one more card <laughs> This is the last one? Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, this is the last I think that overall he's gonna be fine this year. He's gonna be happy internally. However, sometimes he might feel that people are against him or like... Mm, yeah, it's like there are not many people uh, in his side. So I'm just gonna also ask about his love life okay Because 2021 <laughs> 2022 okay i'm gonna put this here okay let me just do this okay first of all i think that um, this is from 2019 which it kind of means that he really felt alone. Uh, it's like even though, um, even though, I think he had a partner, but they didn't get along that well. And you know, there's uh, I think that he's one of the kind of those people who has this kind of boundaries, and he don't want his boundaries to get crossed. But the thing with his previous partner was that I think they were kind of extrovert, like too extrovert, which kind of um, made him kind of feel um, like an outsider because like I feel like 
most of the time he prefers to stay at home. This is what I'm, what I'm uh, getting from this card. However, he this Ace of Swords here is about uh, finally realizing what you want um, and having this kind of spark. So Ace of Swords, I think that he finally realized that who we want, he wants and what he wants. And he has been manifesting someone uh, from a really long time, but I feel like he is kind of per like really getting determined about this person uh, quite recently. This person is like the Empress. The Empress is, <laughs> uh, first of all, just because it's the Empress, it doesn't mean it's a woman. It might be a man as well. Uh, but it's someone with a feminine energy, with this... Um, someone who is, has this motherly energy, really warm, um, yeah, it might be kind of way older than him, like someone who is like six, seven years older than him, so yeah, now let me ask about his um, 2023. 2023. <laughs> we got the Empress again. the wish fulfillment card we got the magician relationship in 2000. Interesting. <laughs> because the lovers. Um, guys, this year is going to be one of the best years of his life. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't get any negative energy i just feel that he, he is gonna be generally happy uh, this empress is someone that is gonna take care of him um this person like is just it it's like a guardian angel i'm just gonna be honest and they just can talk about everything and anything with each other and it's like they are manifesting something together and it's just like it's like wherever he is with this empress he has the best experience of his life this is what i'm getting um could you tell more about their relationship this year Celebrate a lot together. Yeah, this is energy that I'm getting. By the way, I just 
uh, get the sense that they might even um, go through a trip together. So yeah, now let's ask about this Empress. Who is this Empress? Could you explain more about this Empress? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is kind of um, sad to be honest. The thing about this Empress is that this person um, is beautiful inside and outside. But the sad news is that people around him, uh, sorry, about her or him, gossip about this person a lot. It's just like uh, everyone are kind of against this person. By the way, I just get this sense that this empress is a public figure that works really hard. Like, could you explain more about this, like, empress? Yeah. Um, this person is uh, probably a fire sign also. Yeah, I told you, it's so fun. They have this Empress energy, but simultaneously, they have this kind of um, masculine uh, king energy. So like I said, they might be a man as well. So, what else, what else? Okay, there has been someone that um, has been kind of uh, really cruel to this king of wands uh, or this empress. Like someone who was really um, being vicious to this person for a really long time, which uh, caused all of this gossip that is going around about this person. Um, but yeah. I'm just gonna go that. By the way, um, this person, the Empress and John Cook, uh, have known each other for a really long time. And this is the last thing that I sense from the cards. Now let me pull this card back. So, um, uh, what are the last? About three more things I'm gonna answer. What are the most important things that's gonna happen to John? Yeah. The most important things is Page of Pentacles. Okay. Six of cups and so he's gonna start something new and fresh and he's gonna feel really regarded uh, at the ultimately so it's gonna be something that is ultimately going to make him proud of himself and this is all I have to have for this reading. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next videos. So yes, bye.